All right, so what we're going to do now is install our one meter gate. Um, so key thing to do here, because these are already pre-made at one meter exactly, or a thousand mil, what you want is to make the distance between the face of this post and the face of this post, um, well, a thousand plus 20 mil for your latch and 20 mil for your hinges. So ideally, you want about 1,040 millimeters um, in between here, which we've set up and got that um, all good to go. So then what we're gonna do is get wet, is uh, grab a few screws out of our, our true close lock latch, um, latch and um, hinge kit. Grab a few of the screws out of here. Now, I'd recommend putting these up somewhere just under this bottom rail, which I think looks best, but also you've got these metal inserts in here that are from the top to about here, inside the gate. So give it something to grab onto. Screw those on. Open them up. Screw the inside ones. These are pretty heavy duty hinges. screws in your pocket ready to hang the door or the gate now if you're smart you probably measure from the top of this down to here to your hinge and all that kind of stuff but we're just going to sort of eyeball it as you go the rain. Cut. Oh, you might need a packet or something like that when you're screwing this up. We're back into it now that the rain stops. I want to match the sort of rail, this one here, even though it's going to, it's going to be stepping there. I want the gate to sort of match this panel here. So I've sort of pr propped it up a little bit there. And then I just need to bring this end in a bit. How's that looking? Not too bad. Probably got a bit of crap. How's that looking? Yeah. Alright, pretty, pretty good. Pretty happy with that. And now we're just going to screw off these hinges. Matic out there so the door opens. Um, then to finish off the hinges, we've got these little sort of uh, things that sort of cover up the screws. They sort of just click in there. 
make sure it really clicks in there, otherwise it'll fall off. But once they click in, they're not going anywhere. That just sort of makes it look a lot nicer. how you put the hinges on next we'll put the latch on yeah. all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to draw a hole into the post for the latch and you want to be able to draw a hole both sides um, so we've got a bit of a drill template here so what you're going to do is a little hole here that we're just going to make a mark that's all we need to do is just make a mark for our hole and then what I'm going to do, we've got a couple of notches here, you can see that. A tiny little mark there on that notch. Then what I want to do is level this. You're probably actually better with a, a square than leveling this. But leveling is going to be good enough for me. And then put that notch to that line and mark another hole on this side. And that way, we can then draw a big enough hole for this latch system to work. Yeah. Just to make sure that's right. That hole is probably about 10 to 12 mil. The instructions will say exactly what drill to use. I'm just guessing here because I've done it a million times, but probably better off to read the instructions if it's a 10 mil or 12 mil um, drill bit. Beautiful. I might go a bit more just because I can. Alright, rub those marks off. Alright, then what you want to do is determine which side this goes on. So this is going to be on this side, like that. First of all, need to attach this on. We put that on. Now there's some really tiny little silver screws that go into here. And all they do is just attach this bit onto there. Screw them in. There, there you go. Pretty happy with that. Got plenty of play there. Sometimes if you make this drill, drill hole too small, it catches on here very slightly and it can really affect the way your mechanism look, latches, um, how your latch works. I've had many customers say, oh, my latch isn't working, it's not coming down, it's not locking properly. It's usually due, uh, due to um, the, uh, the hole being too small or when they put it in, instead of trying to find the center, they jam it right up like that and that's gonna sort of slow the mechanism down as well. You wanna try and find the center of the hole so it's not touching anything. <clears throat> then what you wanna do is grab one of these boys. Now, also, you want to flip this one around for how we're opening it. So, is that right? Yep, that's right. So you'll need to determine with the little lock symbol at the top, if it's on this side, you know, if it's over here, you want to flip that around 
And then once you've made the decision, make sure I'm happy with that, you can push that in and it all clicks in. So then you click this in, make sure you hear the click. All right, and stick that through. Now, the key with this is, is it's gotta be exactly flush With there, no more, no less. If you don't do it enough, the mechanism won't open the other side of the gate. If you don't do it enough, the mechanism won't open the gate. If you do it too much, the mechanism won't lock. It can be a little bit fiddly in that regard. Now you should just chop that. Find our mark. edges your legs and wherever else you want to do it now just pop that out like that and then you can find and work your way into that mechanism give it a few little test pushes i think that's pretty good if anything actually i might need to give this a little trim because it's not doesn't seem to want to lock really easily. So I'm going to give it a bit of a push. So that means that this is a little bit too long. Because I only had to cut a small bit off it, I just sort of ground it up, ground it down. <coughs> nice little locking clicks and I'm only very gently using the key if you have to really hard or you have to try and push this down to lock it you know your bits too long if you know what I'm talking about all right so then you gotta try and screw all this together which can be a little bit difficult Now again, you want to find the center of the hole, so about there. Again, find the center of the hole roughly. And then sort of just want to give that a test run again with a lot. Oh, it's so good when things work. And give it a push, see that it's opening the mechanism. Successfully put a lock in. This is this is good. I'm just going to finish screwing this off. Once you finish screwing it off, just check everything again. Because sometimes pulling it in too tight with the screws can affect stuff. But generally, I think we're all good. This is good. Easy as that. Okay, we'll pull that key out. This can't get locked. Now it's open. Now I just test the key on this side as well. 
that's locked. Can't open it, and then that's unlocked. Beautiful. All right, last but not least, our little catch. Again, why we put the lock up high is so we can take advantage of the aluminium piece that's in this gate. There's no aluminium bits in here. There's one at the bottom and there's one here to about 300 mil down. And it's gonna rain again, but we're gonna finish this off. Oh, dropping my screws. Yeah, I wanna line that up pretty much centered with there. Oh. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. Screw that. Oh. Make sure everything works. Look at that. It's beautiful. And that's locked. No one can get in. Unlocked. You can get in. All right. Well, that's pretty much how you do a uh, install a one meter gate with a lock latch and hinge, um, lock latch, latch and hinge system. And uh, yeah, that's it.